Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be taking you through a classical over-the-board chess game that I played in the Birmingham League in November 2023 against a pretty well-rated opponent at just under 1900 ELO. This game is a bit shorter, but that's because it's pretty wild at times, especially some of the absurd computer lines given in certain positions. So please like and subscribe the video, only if you enjoy it of course, but without further ado, let's get into the game. So I open with e4, as always, my opponent plays e6, the French defense, and I play this off b b3 line, my opponent plays d5, because it's the French defense obviously, I go bishop b2, which is a gambit of the pawn, my opponent spends quite a bit of time in this position, and decides not to accept the gambit, which is a smart move, plays knight f6, I push the pawn, attacking the knight, so the knight drops back, and this pawn is of course supported by the bishop. Then I play queen to g4. The computer says this is a, is a mistake. I don't care what the computer says. <laughs> this is, it just puts pressure on the pawn on g7. It can't be attacked by a knight on f6, because the pawn defends that square. And it's not vulnerable to any discoveries by this bishop because it's it's a French bishop. And the reason that the light squared bishop in the French defense is bad is because with a pawn on e6 and a white pawn on e5, the bishop can't get out easily. So my queen is very safe on this square. And he can't move his bishop because then I'll take on g7, right? So we play c5, taking space, which is principled. Uh, I play f4, which lends more support to my e5 pawn. I don't want to go d4 because it opens the queen side up for black. I want to play on the king side. So if I can keep these pawns back, then it makes it harder for black to get any play on the queen side. He goes knight c6, knight f3, then f5. Now typically in the French, f6 is played, in which case I'm just going to ignore him because if takes takes, I maintain my advantage and this diagonal is weak. But I don't, I don't want to take him because I want to keep the pawn on e5, keeping these squares uh, monitored because it's a fawn in black side the whole game and it's the French defense is kind of trying to play against this pawn on e5, right? So he goes f5, on passant is not forced, and I go queen g3. Just maintaining eyes on the pawn on g7, and kind of saying, what are you going to do? You've just locked this pawn here forever, and you can't move your bishop, and this bishop isn't going anywhere. So he goes knight b6, just transferring pieces over to the queen side, because he can't play on the king side, right? I go knight c3, which isn't the best move. Knight a3 is better, and I know knight a3 is better. I don't know why I played knight c3. The issue with knight c3 is that d4 is always on the cards for black with a tempo. As if the knight's on a3, it's, it's still threatening to come to b5, right? Because my opponent plays a6 to stop my knight from coming to b5. But now it's just a bit... It, it, it's prone to attack, basically. But it's, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's just an inaccuracy. Bishop e2. Now, this is very typical of this setup because the bishop eventually wants to take control of this diagonal, ideally. Bishop d7 which the computer says is a mistake. The computer wants black to go for this d4 move, in which case I was planning on playing knight back d1. And I'm not sure why my opponent didn't go for it. Maybe he thought he would be overextending his position and I can drop back and play c3. But regardless, he plays bishop d7, like a knight to g5, because I'm just looking at some of these weak squares and black can't play h6 to kick me out because bishop to h5 and g6 can no longer be played to block the diagonal because this pawn no longer supports g6, right? So black can't really get rid of the knight. Bishop e7, a 
attacking the knight. And here I have knight takes h7. Because if rook takes, then queen to g6, check, and I go up the exchange and the pawn. So after knight takes h7, the computer's favorite move is bishop to c8. Uh, essentially, knight takes h7 is completely winning. So I'm opening up this attack. I'm opening these options up. It's game over. I, I missed this. And instead I played h4 with the intention of bishop takes, pawn takes, and opening up the file. Which is illogical, but it's it's a mistake. Knight to d4 is played, attacking my c2 pawn. But I don't really care about c2. Like, I want to attack his king side. So here, the computer wants bishop h5 check. And after g6, knight takes h7, where if the, which is a brilliant move according to the computer, I didn't see this, and if pawn takes, queen g6 is mate, and the black king is suffocated by its own pieces, and after knight takes h7, if rook takes h7, queen g6, king f8, and queen takes rook, which is going to be checkmate very, very soon. And again, the computer wants queen to b8 to give the king a way out. Obviously, it's completely winning because I'm about to take a second pawn and it's game over. Again, I don't see this. Uh, I don't see this idea. I see knight takes h7. The computer thinks that this is wrong because of king to f7. In which case I was just going to drop my knight back potentially. But then after bishop takes, I can't take here because my rook is pinned. So I have to go instead bishop h5 check, king g8, knight f6. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, and bishop to d1 to defend the c2 pawn. Suffice to say, neither me or my opponent saw that line, and my opponent took the knight. So again, the same pattern as before, queen g6 check, king f8, and queen takes h7 is played. Then my opponent dives in to grab the rook with the check. So I move my king over, he takes the rook, and I have mate in five, which I find after queen h8 check, this is all forced, king f7, bishop h5 check, g6, queen h7 check. Uh, if the king goes here, then I take here with check their mate. So the king goes to f8. Then bishop takes g6, all the same. This is mate. This is mate. My opponent stops this mate. And queen h8 is mate. So that was it. The Again, these games, these over-the-board league games, are played in a 6v6, um, like, a cumulative structure. So it's, like the result on each board counts towards each team's overall score and the team with the best overall score wins. So in this game, I get one point, my opponent gets zero points because I win. So I give one point to my team. But if we drew, we get half a point each. My team won five to five, sorry, five and a half to a half in this game. So we won five boards, drew one board, completely crushed them. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, he, my opponent kind of just got a bit butchered and it really shows the power of this weird like queen bishop to b2 queen g4 idea where his bishop really struggled to get out it just kind of stands around until it goes to e7 and leaves g7 far too weak and the king's back rank is weak because the bishop is no longer on that square 
and it kind of just leads to his his loss. The only real chance my opponent had was to find king f7, which is an incredibly hard move to find, especially after this whole bishop h5 check line. That is a fire alarm. It's going to go off in a sec. Well, the fire alarm continued, and I went outside, and then it stopped. So, yeah. Apologies for that, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.